Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another 1100 AD battle feud today and this is a historical one. Again, we are here with the Battle of Montemagaro, which was fought in 1041 AD. So a little bit before the, like, the start date of this mod, but I feel like it's the perfect mod to use for this scenario. And uh, yeah, this was set up by uh, one of my uh, subs on the, dis on the Discord that was... Uh, running this scenario and thank you very much for sending this one in and uh, yeah if you guys got some uh, scenarios that you want to like send in or you want to take part in some then uh, feel free to do so uh, just join the discord the links down below in the description but this yes the battle of Montemagaro is fought between the Normans and the Byzantines as they battle for dominance over southern Italy and it was historically a Norman victory it was like 1300 Normans took on about 16,000 uh, Byzantines and won so this is going to be interesting to see whether they can recreate that. That will be very astonishing if you can do that with like a total war. But it looks like we are about to see a charge from the Norman Knights here. Are they going to charge for the spears? I don't know if I'd be doing that. That doesn't look too healthy for cavalry. But yeah, we are about to see a charge here by Norman Cav by the looks of it. In it comes. Flying on in. Heavy cavalry crushing this line here. And more along this line over here as well. I mean, they just need to uh, just avoid the spears, and they should do okay. This is light infantry after all. And um, there is also things like Varangian Guard here in today's battle. And there's uh, more elite stuff back here as well. We've got Scooter Toy Swords. We've got Varangian Guard with gold chevrons. Whether they really need them, I don't know. These guys are pretty nasty with their dull handed axes. They look ready for action, that's for sure. There are some, like, Italian elite swords, I presume, like, certain, like, Norman troops. But, uh, I think the real strength of the, uh, the Norman states can be their cab. And how they can do that. But they seem like they've inflicted some decent damage. Looks like we're about to see another charge over on this flank over here. See a general going over on this side. He goes flying on in. Gets a really good charge off from this, uh, Byzantine unit right now. Oh, my gosh. Look at the numbers drop. Shaken recent casualties. Yep, that's wavering. That general's, oh jeez, yeah, they've done some real damage over on this side. I mean, light spears and uh, light infantry here having a rough, rough time. And they are wavering, actually, a lot of troops across the, uh, across the line right now. Uh, I don't know whether, the, like, this was, um, like, the business were supposed to have any range or what, but I would have thought that they would have brought some to the battle. But as you can see here, it's a brutal fight right now between horsemen and infantry. I mean, the longer the horsemen stay in here, the more dangerous, dangerous it is to them. And they've got to take on he heavier stuff further back, like Contraroy. Uh, and as we saw, like, Scutatoid, things like that. They are breaking this line, though. I just think that it's all made up of infantry. It's going to make it extra tough for the Normans. If there's, like, light, light uh, like stuff like missile units, then they've got a good chance of, like, taking them out without even worry. I worry. But, uh, I mean, they've got Sparthoy Guard there as well. They're going to be tough to take out as a spear unit. Good charge there by the Italian Knights. Very heavy shock cab. But, yeah, the, the Normans in uh, this battle were actually led by a guy called... There's another great charge comes in there. They're led by a guy called William Ironarm. What a name. Like, imagine having that name in the medieval era. You'd be feared. I'm so scared. But, uh, to, like, face him. But yeah, it seems like uh, at the moment, Normans are just chipping away at this uh, this Roman line. They've actually broken through the center here. Can they go into the next line? I mean, Scutatoy Swords, I don't know if I would. And it seems like the reaction of the Scutatoy Swords is to sort of form that shield wall. Looks like Cav, yeah, it's sort of arriving in drips and drabs. Definitely need to uh, recharge there. That is not going to do them any any good just charging so slowly into the lines. I mean, right now, I would be starting to hammer an anvil units as well. Sparthoid Guard is now, like, preparing yet. You can see the cavalry getting behind and in front of the Sparthoid Guard. I mean, it's a spear unit, so they're still going to be careful. These spears just come out from behind that shield wall and just stab you in, the, in a second you're gone. Yeah, you can see it all the way over here. It's been dealt with. I guess this might be William Ironarm out here, these uh, Italian Norman knights. He's dismounted. You know, he's just chilling, watching his fight, watching his men fight on. He's really got on his horse and started doing some killing himself. That name must have earned him some reputation. There is now Norman Elite Axeman coming forward. We are seeing some infantry actually come into the fight here, which is good to see. Norman's throwing forward some axes. These guys, these Axemen are hopefully going to be pretty good on the charge. Seems like they're doing okay. Chop them down, boys. 
The Byzantines are no more. Now is the time of the Normans. Ranging Gar getting thrown in. So it's Big Axeman versus Big Axeman on this front here. I mean, well, it should be. Once the Varangians get to the front line, it will be. More infantry coming for this Italian elite uh, swordsman here. So it's another, I guess, like sort of Norman unit. They are uh, Lombards also fighting with the Normans in this time period. They had rebelled against their Byzantine subjects and they joined the Normans in this rebellion. It'll be interesting to see how that goes. You can see the infantry now engaging across the front. I don't know how these guys are going to do. I wonder if I thought Scooter Toy was that great. Yeah, losing decisively. It's very heavy infantry. I wonder if it was that great. Scooter Sparthoy guard here getting annihilated. Seeing the general just slam on in here. Cavalry just crushing the Scooter Toy and the Contrary. I think this is. I think this is Scooter Toy. Yeah, two a really good charge there. Don't know if I'd engage this uh, spear unit here, but here we go. Cavalry coming in. Flying on it. Yeah, he knocks it down like he doesn't even care. Wow, what a charge. These Italian Norman knights are just ridiculously good. I mean, I had my doubts about them winning this fight. I mean, look at the balance of power. The balance of power has shifted a little bit in their favor, but... Yeah, it's just going to take... It's going to take a little bit more. We are seeing... So, oh, they have got some bows in there. They've got mercenary slingers. You know, they're doing some damage. Killing some Italian knights. They're going to need to do a bit more than that. Italian elite swords. Combat even. I think these scooter toy aren't that great. I think the Varangians may be the, uh, the saving grace of the Byzantines. It's going to be anyone. If they can pin all this... Uh, I mean, they look like they pin most of the infantry down in combat with... Infantry, if we can get a cavern behind, do some work. I mean, there's a cataphracti here. Get him involved. I'd also get William back on his horse, if he's not already. He is back on his goddamn horse. Good lad. Get on your horse. Mount up and start riding into battle, I say. Go and duel with the cataphracts. Uh, I think one of the generals has just fallen. I think that might be in the Sparthoid Guard has just fallen, that general. Um, that was kind of too expected, I think, at this point. We've got a, a Norman uh, elite axeman that have been forced back, so... Yeah, I'm making some gain. Well, not some gains, but they're holding them at bay in some areas. Italian elite swords going in against these Varangian guards. This will be a tough fight. But both sides. I mean, this is both their elite infantry here going in. The Varangians are like, yep, yeah, don't even care. More Varangians. I think they're just like pulling them back and then recharging them. I don't know how many they have, but these Varangians. But it seems like they have a fair amount. See the uh, emblem of Jesus Christ here just floating above. Just to remind them either side that Jesus is with them. I'm pretty sure both sides probably have uh, <laughs> banners of Christ. But you can see over here a little flank going on right now by some Byzantine. Byzantine axemen. They want to flank these Italian uh, elite swords. I mean, they definitely should have just like pulled, gone around fully so they could fully envelop this unit. But this should also be a good chance for the cab just to go, yeah, we'll just hit these guys in the flank. They can. Over here, it seems like the general is winning because he's got the support of light infantry here in this cavalry fight. Can these uh, caverns over here maybe get some hammer and anvils? Certainly would be a good opportunity. Brand new guard is losing here. But as you can see, the Normans, they're getting routed. They are starting to get routed in a few areas now. Cavs starting to go, which is a bad sign. Probably want to send these Norman Italian axes back in. Certainly those archers are coming in handy now for the Byzantines. Going real handy. And these uh, fresh infantry units are the uh, axes. Angry Vikings on the other end of those axes as well. There's, I mean, there's still a gap in the line here. So this scooter toy sword breaks. There's going to be able to flood through uh, some Italian troops. Looks like forces being. Uh, I don't know if these are retreating and just. I don't know what is these troops here are doing. They're just not even paying attention. I don't know if they're just like off the battlefield or what. But uh, not a good sign there. And you can see, look at this. Really pinning down this general. This cataphract general really in trouble now. The Normans just thrown all the remaining of their cavalry here just to try and break this guy. I mean, rightly so. If they break him, then that infantry line is going to break. And there you go. He is gone. I don't know if the general is actually dead. Yeah, they are actually going into all this infantry over here now. And they need to go for these archers. This is the real problem. General recently died. 
You need to get in there. Carry's rallied over there as well. The 16 knights may just be make or break. We are about to see 13 brave Italian knights here. Run into the uh, slingers. I don't know if they'll break them, but at least they'll silence them. They themselves may get broken. There's the remaining of the horde of cavalry down there. It's a little bit of a horde. I wouldn't say it's the biggest one in the world. But it's still pretty even in the infantry fight. Both sides got a decent amount of infantry left. Van's power is still not really shifted, even though they've uh, killed the general off. Uh, you can see here Nor uh, Norman Knights actually getting beaten back by uh, Skrushoy's swords. So that is not a good sign. If uh, William here, as I'm calling him William now, if he falls, I feel like that might be the, uh, the death of the Norman uh, army, but they've just definitely pulled through this infantry unit here. That's going to cost them a lot of cavalry. Yeah, they are losing a lot of cavalry there. And rightly so, you should pull through. They're going to try and just, I think they're just going to try and overwhelm one unit at a time now with cavalry, like the last remaining of their cavalry. It's not a bad strap, but I also just, unless they take out those archers, they're going to be very vulnerable. Those, uh, those Rangians finally getting cut down, I think. And they got in amongst the Slingers eventually. Took a fair few losses in doing so, but they did get amongst them. You see here these Italian Norman Knights. Oh, I don't know if this general's going to break or die or what. Normans over here get beaten back. And there you go. I don't know... How? What happened to the uh, players? But the, apparently the Byzantines lost. I don't know whether the replay bugged out. Oh yeah, the replay 100% bugged out. But there you go. I'm guessing that the uh, the Byzantines went on and lost that one. Um, I don't know what happened. I think because this mod is getting constantly updated uh, on a regular basis at the moment. So I think like, the 1100 AD just like replays at the moment. Are not a uh, like you got to do them the day that they are like they come out or like they get sent to you because. Uh, Seems as though uh, 1100 AD seem to be quite keen on updating their, their game ever so slightly, which obviously corrupts replays. But there you go, guys. That was the Battle of uh, Monte Magori. I hope you guys did enjoy it. It seems as though the Normans were going to recreate history once again and crush the Byzantines and kick them out of Italy. But yes, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, if, uh, subscribe if you're new around here, and feel free to leave a comment as well if you'd like to get involved in some 1100 AD action or just involved in some Total War action. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.